Hey everyone, Phil here with another Python basics question with Nick Walter. And today I wanna know, how do you go about getting a job once you know Python? It seems like a really valuable skill. What's, what steps would you take, Nick, if you were looking for a job? So uh, I see sort of two ways of going about this. So one is if you learn Python uh, and you don't have sort of a specific place that you'd like to go with it, uh, putting that you know Python on your resume is just sort of this extra little gold star for no matter what job you're going to. I, you'll find uh, whatever sort of task it is you have to do at your job, there's going to be at some point that you might be able to automate something. And if you're the guy that could say, hey, you know what, I think I could write a little thing to fix this and automate this for everybody with Python, uh, you're going to be a dream uh, employee and hire for a lot of people. So that's one way if you just kind of want to spice up your resume a little bit. But if you want to say, hey, I want to be doing Python all the time, like this is my day job. Uh, I would recommend one, picking where it is that you'd like to use Python. You know, it's it's so broad about where you could use it. You kind of got to pick, do I want to be a web developer, a data scientist? Do I want to work with machine learning? So first decide what kind of work it is you want to do with Python. Then once you have that specific area, uh, then you can really start targeting those particular types of jobs. So let's say you want to become a web developer uh, with Python. Uh, one, research and find out what are the different uh, frameworks that are out there. For example, Django and Flask are really big uh, frameworks for Python web development. So maybe even within that, pick which direction you'd like to go. Uh, and then my biggest recommendation is there's no better way to get hired than actually doing the thing. So if you want to become a web developer with Python, I recommend making your own website and having that out there so that if you're ever in an interview and they say, hey, what skills do you have? You say, I have this website that I built. Come check it out. And, you know, you can do like your own personal website. A really good way is you can also to learn Python and get some jobs is sort of make copycat versions of websites. So mm -hmm. you can make your own simplified version of like Twitter or Reddit. Uh, and that can be a really impressive thing to potential employers that say, oh, look, this this person's out there doing things, building things. They're going to be a great fit for us. Yeah, totally makes sense. Nick, that was a great answer. And I hope that helps everyone out. Thanks a lot.